all who are weary and tired come for you will find your rest in the arms of our king Ooh, and oh i need a savior run to jesus oh you will find salvation in our jesus for he is love for he is love a very good morning to my dear friends i'm praying and trusting the lord that this word of encouragement finds you out today today we're continuing on with our series from revelation 22 and we're going to continue on from verse 11 all the way to the end so um just a quick little recap in verse 10 we see um john yes john we see john being told that he should not seal up the prophetic words or the book and all of that meaning that all of us should be able to have access to it be able to read and know what it is that the lord is trying to say please ignore my babies in the background they're right there with me um today so yeah so just ignore them um and then now we go on he then goes on to say look anyone who is doing whatever it is that they're doing let them continue doing it those who are doing evil let them keep on doing evil those who are doing wrong let them continue on doing wrong those who are being righteous let them continue on being righteous those who are holy let them continue on being holy and then um jesus goes on to also say that you know like i am coming soon and um Pretty much what he was just saying is that, look, I'm going to, when I come, I'm going to judge everyone according to what it is that they have done. So according to our acts, and so shall we be judged. And then here in this book also, we also see that those whose robes have been washed in the blood. So I, I would have to say those who are in Christ Jesus, we see that they're the ones who are allowed to enter into the city. But those who practice everything that is not godlike that is not godly they're the ones that are outside the city so in the other verses that we're reading we see you know lake of fire that's where those guys are at and in this city new city only those who are in christ jesus are the ones who are found there so now for me the key scriptures that stood out to me is what i'm going to read to you right now and that is um verse 17 and it says the spirit and the bride say come let anyone who hears this come let anyone who is thirsty come let anyone who desires to drink freely from the water of life come so um what i get from this is jesus obviously he already told us in john that he's the way the truth and the life and anyone wants to go to the father can only do that through him and you know he also tells us tells us that he is if we drink from him we'll never thirst again so therefore my dear friend this is just an encouragement for us to say whatever it is that we need because in this life many of us always feel like there's always one thing that is missing or another but he's saying i am enough as long as you have me i am more than enough and that's what he's saying to us and then it also goes on to say look whatever it is that we hear from god i'm just going to give you i'm just going to try to paraphrase in case my kids end up being impatient whatever it is that we hear from god we should not distort it if you distort the word of god if you take away from what he has said punishment will come upon you but if you speak it and if you try to change it a little bit and stuff again you know it's like technically you're not really in the wrong but you're still in the wrong so then what what god then goes on to say is that look then it means your reward will take away from your reward so if you you know distorts the word of god there are consequences to that so whatever it is that the lord has said to you my dear friend just speak it as it is ask him for the wisdom and for the guidance and for the understanding as well so that you know exactly how you ought to deliver his word but whatever he said to you may you be encouraged in the fact that god will always make sure he tells you when and how to also say it he doesn't want you to just say it like that unless if that's what he wants you to do then hey go ahead and do it but my dear friend for those who are not in christ jesus and even for those who are in christ jesus if you're thirsty just run to your savior run to your daddy run to your maker run to your creator he's the one who knows you he says this is the alpha and omega the beginning and the end right so that means he knows everything from the beginning even before it happened god was before it was god was so i'm just here to encourage you so i'm just trying to keep my baby away from the video so i'm just trying to encourage you that in all that you do may you just remain in christ jesus and may you just be strengthened in everything that you're gonna do um and if you're ready my dear friend let us pray oh yes to your wise and all-knowing king to you our daddy 
Thank you, Father, for all that you've done. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your favor. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for you are the one who was and is and is to come. Father, we bless you and we bless your name and we thank you for everything that you have done for us. Thank you for your love for us, O Jehovah. Father, right now, just pray for all those people who don't know you, O God. Wherever they are, Jehovah, may they come to a place where they want nothing else but you, O God. For you said, all those who are thirsty, they should come to me and they'll be able to drink from the water of life. Father, we love you. We bless you and we bless your name. And today being a Friday, Father, we're here to also say thank you for everything that you have done. We're here to say thank you for your love. We're here to say thank you for your faith. We're here to say thank you for your grace. You be all the glory, all the honor, and all the adoration. As always, my dear friend, be encouraged, be strength that you keep winning. I will see you on Monday. More grace. Gotta go.